Hello you guys, welcome to another Disney pack with me video. My name is Becca, if you are new, I'm so glad you're here. I share all kinds of Disney planning content, tips for taking a toddler to Disney World, as well as vlogs from our latest Disney trips. So I would love for you to hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. That way you can stick around for our trip vlogs coming very soon. I can't wait to bring you guys along. But this trip is gonna be a little bit different for me. It's just gonna be me and my two and a half year old Ellie Rose so I'm traveling alone with my toddler <laughs> I'm a little nervous but mostly excited and we're gonna be there for three nights so it's a shorter trip and we are flying and normally on a three-night trip I would go the carry-on route just to simplify but because I'm not gonna have an extra set of hands to help me through the airport I'm thinking checking our bag is just gonna be the way to go to help alleviate any extra stress <laughs> getting onto the plane because I'm already gonna have our stroller our diaper bag, my toddler, and checking our bag actually gives me a little more flexibility with what I can pack. Just liquids wise, I can pack all of our snacks, I can pack all of our diapers. Normally I would get those things delivered to our room and do an Amazon order, but because we can check our bag and I have the room for it, and it's only a three night trip, I'm just gonna try to bring as much as possible. That way all I'm having to order when we get to Disney is maybe a case of water and that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out everything I'm gonna pack and show you everything I'm bringing. All right, so pretty much all of my packing happens on the floor, so here we are. <laughs> but I wanted to start out by showing you the packing cubes that I use. So I will never go to Disney without packing cubes ever again. I love these. This is actually a set that I got on sale from Stony Clover. I wanna say I got this entire set for around $40, which is honestly cheaper than most packing cube sets you'll find on Amazon. So I'll see if I can find this and link it below. I'm not sure if it's available still. I don't know, but we'll see. I'll look for it. But I love these. I love that it comes in a variety of sizes. So I have a couple large, a couple medium size, a couple small. It's really, really nice. Um, so I love these. And honestly, all of our stuff like clothing wise stays in the packing cubes and they're really easy to just move around wherever you need them in your resort hotel room and you can kind of unpack in a sense and put things in drawers and then when it's time to repack up all you're doing is just picking up the packing cube and putting it back in your suitcase. So I really love having these. Let's go ahead and dive into the actual packing and I'm gonna go ahead and start setting out everything that I'm gonna pack so that I can show you. <laughs> Jumping right in and starting with my daughter's clothes. So we only have two full park days, but I always like to pack a few extra outfits. That way we can change mid afternoon and we don't have to be in the same sweaty clothes all day long. <laughs> so I have a few little t-shirts, a pair of denim shorts, this really cute, it's a little denim overall dress with these Mickeys on it from Zara. Super excited for her to wear this. And then her two princess dresses. So we have Ariel, Moana, these are from Only Little Once. I will have that shop linked down below. We have an Elsa dress too. They're just seriously amazing quality. And I love that she can wear a princess dress to the parks, but it's like this stretchy t-shirt material. So there's no itchy fabric or anything like that. It's super comfortable. It's like she's wearing a big t-shirt. It's so, so comfy and so cute. And then up here is Ellie's toiletry bag. I used these clear travel bags on our last Disney trip as well and love them so much. I have this in a bunch of sizes and they're just really nice to have for packing, bringing to the parks. I mean, literally anything. So I will link the small shop where these are from down below as well as my discount code with them. And then this is the next size up in that same print. And this is Ellie's little swim bag. So we do plan on hanging out at the pool some. So I have her little swim shoes, some swim diapers back there, swimsuit, cover up. I need to toss in some sunscreen. I just remembered that. So that'll go in this bag. This is her water bottle that we will bring to the parks with us. So I like having a stainless steel water bottle for her because water stays cold longer as compared to her plastic water bottle. So this is really nice to have in the parks. And then these are her little mini ears that I have had to hide from her because she will not take these off if she finds them. So super cute. I'm thinking she'll wear these with the little Mickey dress 
so stinking cute it's just like a little headband adorable and then up here a pack of wipes a crib sheet you guys i'm not sure if i'm gonna go the pack and play route or if we're gonna go the bed rail route on the little pull down bed for her I haven't quite decided we're in between stages right now and I just don't know but I'm gonna bring a crib sheet just in case and then I'm also gonna pack some diapers normally I would get these delivered to our resort but because I'm checking our bag I don't really need to do a giant Amazon order and we have the room for the diapers so I'm just gonna pack these and then some overnight diapers as well I'm bringing an extra one for her to wear on the plane ride home that way it's just you know, it saves us maybe one or two extra diaper changes when she wears the overnight version. And then this is my little electronic bag. So this has all of our chargers, our little fans. So this is the stroller fan that I use. Ellie actually hates <laughs> having a stroller fan for some reason, but she loves holding this fan. So I need to actually order a second one because she just prefers this over the stroller clip-on fan but I'm still gonna bring this because it's nice to hold or we can set it up on a table or you know it's always nice to have an extra fan but she just loves this little mini fan so I have all of our chargers for everything in here I have an umbrella and then my portable phone charger so that's where all of our little electronics and chargers and all of those things are gonna go and then moving on to my things this packing cube has socks underwear little sports bras just you know undergarment type things and then here are my park outfits so ooh, i skipped over this one so the night that we get there we're not going to go to a park we're just going to hang out at resorts watch the fireworks from the beach area just i don't know what we'll see but it's going to be super casual so bringing a pair of denim shorts a couple of little t-shirts so it's always nice to have an extra t-shirt just you never know <laughs> and then for our first magic kingdom day i have a pair of denim shorts a little pink tank top and then my mom crossbody bag so I like having this in addition to the diaper bag that way I have somewhere to keep my little wallet my phone my phone charger fan little lip gloss just anything that I need access to really quick it's really nice having this on me and then I can bring this onto rides and anything valuable stays with me. So I really like having my own little bag in addition to the diaper bag. And then I'm gonna size down from my giant wallet that I use here at home. That way this can fit in here and it's just a little more compact. And then our next Magic Kingdom day is this athletic dress from Amazon that I am completely obsessed with. I wore this on our last Disney trip and fell in love with this. So it's this athletic material. It has built-in padding, it has adjustable straps, and then it has built-in shorts underneath. The only thing that I'm bummed about is when I washed it, it snagged on something and I don't know if you can see that but it kind of pills up a little bit and there's another spot under here somewhere too so kind of bummed about that just from washing it but I don't think it's super noticeable so anyway just kind of you know little thing to be aware of if you are interested in purchasing this dress I still love it I still think it's amazing it's so so comfortable and it's just my go to park outfit now I'm completely obsessed and then same thing my other little you know mom crossbody bag and then this is what I'm gonna be vlogging with I vlog on my phone now so I'm actually loving using my phone to vlog our trips as compared to having my phone and my camera and I have to bring my camera charger and SD cards and just it's a whole setup and so to pare down to my iPhone 13 I honestly feel like the quality is just as great if not better and this is super lightweight and easy to you know toss under the stroller and I just really love having this so that is what I plan on vlogging with and then this is my hair straightener so it's this little heat protected uh, pouch thing I don't know it's really nice so when I do my hair in the morning and we've got to pack up the suitcase and we're ready to go 
I can put my hair straightener in here still hot and I don't have to worry about it damaging anything in our suitcase. And then up here is my little pool outfit, just another little tank and some denim shorts and my swimsuit. So that is what I'm going to wear on our little pool afternoon. I have some pajama comfy clothes for back in the room and then some biker shorts and a little t-shirt for our plane ride home. All right, moving all the way around. Because I am checking our bag, I decided to go ahead and pack my big fluffy blanket <laughs> because the bedding situation at Disney hotels, they're just not great. I need more than a sheet on a sheet and I just like having my own blanket. So if I have the room to pack this, I'm gonna pack it. And then I'm bringing Ellie's blanket as well. Okay, moving on to plane ride, toddler park kind of things. So this is gonna be what I take for our park bag and I'm gonna use this as our travel carry-on bag as well. So when we go to the park and I'm pushing the stroller, I have these stroller clips from an old diaper bag and they're universal so I can use this with any diaper bag and then I can clip this onto the stroller. So this strategy has worked amazing for us and it keeps me hands free and I really, really love having our diaper bag on the back of the stroller. So I'm also gonna use this again as what we take on the plane with us. So I'm gonna pack this up for airplane travel with a toddler. <laughs> so I've got a lot that's gonna go in this bag, but you know, I'm thinking I can pare it down enough because our flight is under two hours. So, you know, it's not gonna be a crazy long travel day or anything. So I'm thinking I can make it work. So I'm gonna bring her tablet. I have her Bluetooth headphones. And then I also got a couple of these little mess-free coloring books. Ellie loves these so much. So I'm gonna do one for the plane ride there and then the other for the plane ride home. And then I got a couple of little trinkety things from the dollar section at Target. It's a little dolphin and turtle, just like little plastic things. But I'm telling you, having little random trinkety things that your toddler has never seen before to be able to hand to them when they're upset about something or you're waiting in line or you're waiting for your food to come, it's just always nice to have a little random thing that they've never seen before to hand to them. So I always try to pick out, you know, a couple of little things to just throw in our bag that she has never seen before. And then I also have our little meal bag. So this will go in our diaper bag as well. I have some little stick on coloring placemats for when we are out to eat. I've started keeping some crayons in there. I have a little thing of Play-Doh, her bib, her fork, and then I have to show this thing. I showed it on our last uh, Disney trip uh, packing video, but this thing is so nice. I can set my phone on this on the table, and if I'm desperate and I need to put a show on, it's so nice to have you guys. I think this was like three or four dollars on Amazon. So I'll have everything linked down below, but I always keep that in our meal bag. And then I need to grab her spoon out of the dishwasher, but <laughs> this is our little meal bag and it's so nice to have this everywhere we go. And then these are the snacks that I'm gonna bring with us. So again, because we are checking our bag, I have the room to bring all of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pack as much as I can. And then if I need to do an Amazon order for like a case of water or some drinks, that's really all I'm needing to order. And it won't be a big deal, you know, to do it the night of or whatever. So it's just gonna be nice to have all of our snacks already with us. So I have a bunch of little bars and goldfish, um, applesauce pouches, these liquid IV uh, little packets. I love having these and I fly through these at Disney. They're just so nice to have when you're feeling dehydrated or really to just prevent dehydration. Um, I always start my morning with one of these. It's so, so amazing at Disney World. And then this is the little cooler bag that I always bring with us and I just clip this onto our stroller and I can slide, you know, a couple of bottles of water in here, some snacks, and everything stays pretty cool in here and it's just really nice um, to have with us 
um, on our stroller. And then this is our stroller rain cover. So this will go underneath our stroller in the little basket. This is pretty much all I will keep underneath the stroller because we won't have that much storage. It is a pretty compact stroller. So I always have our stroller rain cover, even if it calls for a beautiful sunny day, I always bring our stroller rain cover and my rain jacket. So these are the two things that will go underneath the stroller. And then lastly, my toiletry bag, my makeup case. And again, I wouldn't normally travel with this much makeup or this large hard shell makeup case. I would try to condense this if I was doing a carry-on bag, but because we are checking our bag, I feel like I have the room for this and you know, it's gonna be no big deal to bring this. And then my little case for my makeup brushes. I love this so much and Basically, when you get to your resort and you're doing your makeup in the bathroom, you just fold this down, I'm trying to do this one-handed, and set this on the counter and it becomes like a little stand for your makeup brushes. So, super handy, I love having this. And then lastly are the little first aid kits that I bring. So this is the main one that I travel with. I need to throw a couple more things in here, but this will just go in our suitcase and stay in our room. And then this is the one that goes in our diaper bag. So I keep Band-Aids, Neosporin, Tylenol for me, and children's Tylenol for Ellie, just in case. So these are the things that I have with me at all times. And then this one will stay in our room. And then for shoes, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. These are Ellie's little native slip-on shoes. She wears these pretty much every day. <laughs> so they're just our go-to shoes and I have them in pink for her so I might grab those as well but that's pretty much what she'll wear the entire time we're at Disney. I'm just gonna stick with tennis shoes. Normally I might grab another pair of sandals or you know something else but I'm gonna keep it super simple and just go with my everyday tennis shoes. And then my sandals for the pool, and I think that's all I'm gonna bring. that is it for today's pack with me for Disney. Thank you so much for watching. The only things I still need to grab are all of the last minute things like Ellie's sound machine, her monitor, stuff that I can't really grab until the morning of. So I'll throw that in last minute. And I still need to pack up our diaper bag. This one will be very airplane specific. On our last Disney trip we drove, so it just looked a little bit different packing up that bag for a road trip as compared to flying so I'm just gonna have to think through things a little bit differently this time so I still need to do that that's on my to-do list but other than that I think we're good I think we're ready and I'm so so excited so I would love for you to stick around and hit that red subscribe button down below and join our internet fam here that way you can hang out for all of our Disney trip vlogs coming very soon and give this video a thumbs up as well it really helps support the channel as well as let me know that you're enjoying my packing videos so I will have my other pack with me videos linked down below. I have an entire playlist of packing videos. So if you are really craving some more packing content, I'll have that entire playlist linked for you. But I think that's it for today. So thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.